All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, and we are once again welcomed by our lovely friends floating here in space, greeting us to what hopefully will be an entertaining episode today. Now, I have been very pleased with my progress so far in the game. We have built ships, sent them into orbit, built a space station, docked with it, and successfully done an orbital rendezvous. And, in fact, I've actually done multiple sents to try and practice. Which you can see here, we have sent up two additional crew retrieval ships up to the station. Which I am getting better at that. <laughs> Last episode when I launched this one, it took me... Oh, two extraordinarily frustrating hours to get it up to this station and successfully rendezvous with it. It was painful, but I was very, very proud of myself when done. Uh, it, was, it was a great accomplishment, truly. But then I realized something. As I began to move my friends Bob and Bill down here and send them on EVA to go into this habit habitat module, I realized I forgot to put a parachute on the crew retrieval capsule. <laughs> so if I would have put them in there and launched it back down to Kerbin, they would have died in just a fiery explosion of doom. So, <laughs> so I had to send up a second crew retrieval ship, slightly redesigned, which as you can see only has one light down here. I took away the other three because, well, one is certainly bright enough as we learned last episode. I actually quite like it too because I placed it on the, well, I guess what would be considered the top of the module when you're going in for docking. So I can actually, I know which way is which when I do RCS if that light is on top. It actually works out quite well. I'm very pleased with that. And then I decided to send up another capsule just for fun. I wanted to try and get a little bit better, do a bit more rendezvousing. And from this first capsule, that took me two hours. This one, I think, took me about an hour and a half. And this one, it only took me an hour to rendezvous. So I'm getting better. I am getting better. And I am very pleased about that. <laughs> You may also notice one thing, which I know is a little bit controversial amongst the Kerbin community, is MechJeb. A lot of people think that it is a program for cheating, which I can understand their reasoning, but I downloaded it not because I want it to pilot for me. I'm, I'm really enjoying learning how to fly in this game, and so I, I don't want MechJeb to fly for me. What I've gotten it for is for the custom window editor. <laughs> I, I did used to use MechJeb when I originally played this game, and I did need it for autopilot because my computer was so horrible that I, yeah, that's the only way I could actually fly in this game. But besides that, I did really love this, the, all the extra information that it gave you which is why I've downloaded it again now. Again, I don't plan on using it to launch my ships. I want it for this stuff, especially these two, the orbital info and the rendezvous info. I think this is the reason why it only took me an hour on the last mission I did was because I had all of this additional information. I could see my angle to the target and when the next approach would be without having to go back and forth between the map and this view. And for the orbit info, I could see my apoapsis and periapsis just fine. Again, I didn't have to switch back and forth because I like actually piloting in this space view. I don't like having to pilot from the map. I know it's good because you can see this information, but with this, this orbiting info, I can see it right here. And I can also see other bits of this coming in handy too, such as... whoop. There we go. Let's go to... 
Ah, yes, this one. No, that's not what I wanted at all. That's... Where is the one I was looking at earlier? Ah, just service info. There we go. With this, it has the true altitude, so that it be something like your radar altitude, as well as your altitude from sea level. So that, like, say you're landing on the moon, if you're on a hill, the technical sea level would be hot, would be not where you wanted to land. You would crash right into the surface. But with this true altitude, it's it's like having the radar altitude that you get inside the ship, which let's just EVA to... Ooh, I actually didn't mean to EVA. F, I meant IVA. And that's not the one I wanted. <laughs> I wanted Bill. Now you can see on these controls, I don't know which one of it is on this. Ah, yeah, this radar altitude, I'm pretty sure is... Oh yeah, that's the radar altitude. That would be your true altitude, so... You don't need to be in cockpit view to be able to see that radar altitude, because you don't get it when you're out here. You just get the to-see-level altitude. So I like having this information, and that's why I've downloaded MechJeb. So don't worry, I don't plan on using it to actually launch missions. <laughs> I, I was curious to see how, it, how well it did, and I actually did use the Ascent Autopilot on one of my uh, crew retrieval rockets, and rather than getting it into space, it put it into an uncontrollable spin at about 50,000 meters and crashed every time. So I don't plan on trusting <laughs> the Mech Jeb to do my flying because, well, it destroyed one of my ships. <laughs> So yes, we will still be doing our flying as normal. We actually need to start getting our crew out of here. Because what I want to do today is deorbit this spaceship. Or not spaceship, this space station. I have had a lot of fun with it. I've gotten a lot of use out of this thing. But it whoop, there we go, R. I was about to say, I was like, what? Why aren't you whoa? Whoa, okay. Okay, you are. You are spinning all over the place. Why? Why are you spinning so much? But yes, I've gotten a whole lot of use out of this station. I've done several successful missions. I'm very happy about that. And I think it's time to actually build a proper space station. But to do that, I need to get this crew back, because I want to just get rid of this test station altogether. But rather than just ending the mission, I want to crash it down into the planet in a spectacular manner. I think that would be far, far more fun to do. <laughs> so we first, of course, need to get our Kerbins back. I, did, I don't want to be the one to send them on a suicide mission. Forward. Forward, Bill. And... Whoop. Whoop. F grab. There we go. And let's board him into that capsule. And then get Bill out of there as well. Let's... Do, 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 do. Let go. Turn on thrusters. Whoop! Whoa! Spin out of what? Why are they spinning out of control when I first take them out? That's just strange. I don't want to fly too far away from the station now. I haven't done a whole lot of EVA practice. I have had these guys flown around a little bit from this station. Like I said, I was in the process of moving them to the original crew retrieval capsule when I realized that I forgot to put on a parachute. So, <laughs> I had to turn them back. 
But yes, they, they were able to safely get back in. But yeah, controlling this is much, much different than the ship. It seems far more finicky. And that's saying a lot, considering all the issues I've been having with RCS. I'm trying to know if, I, if I'm just designing the RCS systems incorrectly, but I have just been having such a horrible time actually getting my ships to control how I want them to be doing with RCS. They just start wobbling around all the time. And it, it's kind of annoying, so if any of you have a suggestion, if I am am indeed building these things just completely wrong, I would like to know. <laughs> Alright, now that tank has a fair amount of fuel in it, so I'm not too worried about them getting back into Kerbin orbit. Hmm. But I think we want to take all of that fuel. Just to be on the safe side, I want to make sure... Now that... Oh, that's... That's way more fuel than we need. <laughs> hmm. Let's actually transfer a little bit of it into this rocket. I am actually going to deorbit the station with this rocket. I could use these as well, but yeah. But first, let's successfully get our crew back home. So let's control from here, undock, and back away. Oh, yes, it'd help if RCS was on. There we go. Goodbye, station test. We will never forget you. You served us well. But it is time for your doom. <laughs> Alright. Now, hmm. How do I want to deorbit this thing? I actually would like to try and get it into the ocean. Because, as you may be able to tell, <laughs> I don't really have a docking clamp, or not docking clamps, a decoupler for this ship. So, it's kind of going to be coming into the Kerbin atmosphere entirely intact. <laughs> yeah, yes, let's... That's good. Let's just turn that on there. Excellent. And... Turn the RCS off. Actually, let's just pitch down a little bit. There we go. And let's turn on our orbital information. Like I said, I, I love the info that this stuff provides. I earn my living by day as a geophysicist, so anytime I can view numbers, it makes a lot more sense to me. Alright, so let's just keep that burn going. And even though I am liking this, I do want to view where I'm going to land. So we'd like a nice soft ocean landing, which I do not think is going to be an issue for us. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's going to be just fine. <laughs> Let's burn a little bit more for safety's sake. And there we go. We should now be on a nice watery trajectory. Where'd the space station go? It should be somewhere that way. Bye, guys! Well, robotic controllers, there are no more guys on there. Which, hmm. Thought I could view the crew that's in here. I'm sure I can, I'm just clicking on the wrong bit. Ah, excellent. For a moment, I was a little worried that we didn't actually pick them up. <laughs> 
I wouldn't put it past me. I... I mean, come on, I forgot to put a parachute on this thing, for God's sakes. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't put anything past my stupidity. Alright, let's just let this thing accelerate a bit. Alright, we are entering the atmosphere now. Excellent. Let's try and angle ourselves up this way. Honestly, don't know and don't know why I want to do this, but I'm gonna keep doing a retro burn for some reason, just for fun, really. <laughs> Plus, it will help burn off some of our speed because, as I said, this whole capsule's coming down. <laughs> Uh, I want to make sure that it lands as softly as possible, so that none of this explodes. Now we should be good, since we are coming in over the water. Okay, I'll save some of that. Again, I don't know why. <laughs> I really have no like proper maneuver figured out here. I just want to make sure that I'm in a nice big ocean so that I don't explode on the land. See, I'm pretty sure even with a parachute, this thing would explode horribly. <laughs> and that's something I don't want. Ooh, we're spinning. I don't like that. Oh, all right. Whoa, 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 why'd the parachute open? I didn't hit the space bar. Oh, it's probably... Oh, when I separated from the ship, it reorganized my staging stuff here. Oh, this could be bad. I'm hoping that those... In, uh, that those parachutes can take all this stress. Let's... Let's turn on our CS, see if we can get rid of some of this wobble. Those parachutes do seem to be holding. I'm just... Oh, all that wobbling worried me. <laughs> I think we are good, though. I, I, I think we are fine. I could probably even turn the engine off, but I kind of like the just slow burn. Alright, let's... Lock it in there. Excellent. It's looking good. Slowing down quite nice. I wouldn't mind if the parachutes opened. Open. Open. Okay, come on. A little bit more. There we go. Whoa! Okay, well... The crew module survived. And honestly, that's all I care about. <laughs> I guess the strain was too much for the rest of it. But the crew. The crew survived. <laughs> Alright, let's just accelerate this till we have splashdown. Okay, small design flaw in the crew retrieval ship. I will have to take a look at that. Probably should put a decoupler right there. There we go! Perfect. Lovely. They're underwater now. Enjoy your new home! <laughs> nah, nah, this flight's done. We have returned Bill and Bob back home. Well, let's see. Oh, so it starts the flight from their EVA. That's cool. <laughs> RCS thruster my block splashed down hard and was destroyed. Ah. <laughs> hey, I'm happy with that. That was that was successful. So now let's go back to the space station and let's bring this sucker down. <laughs> hmm, I may accelerate time here because we are already getting close to being back on the dark side and I would like to do this during the day. So let's put a navigation node somewhere along here. Yep. Whoop, that's not the way I wanted to go. Why'd I grab that one? Whoop. 
There we are. That should be a perfect, perfect descent. Now, I kind of want to use these four engines, but I have a feeling that if I do, they're going to damage the ship. And this one should be more than enough to get me deorbited. So... Yeah, let's turn these four engines off. Shut down. Shut down. Shut down. There we go. Alright, one problem with using the MechJeb information. <laughs> it kind of blocks some of my, uh, my other views. Alright, and let's move you up here. Why'd you all move here? I don't... Ah! Let's move you up there. I don't need any of you decoupling on me. That's those engines. Ooh, I don't want you turning on either. Let's actually deactivate you as well. That would be bad. Okay. Now let's make sure that all of our fuel is back here. I like this refueling thing. I think that's probably one of my favorite things about this. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely one thing when I build my new space station. My proper space station. You need to make sure we have a nice refueling area. Full of all sorts of delicious fuel. Now I can't wait to see how this reacts to the re-entry, because I'm pretty sure a lot of this stuff is just going to be ripped apart. <laughs> uh, let's find out. But first, time acceleration. Actually, I want to open up those custom windows real quick and see if there's a... One for the node. Stopwatch, that's cool. Ah, maneuver node info. Let's see. And, hmm, okay, so that's just giving me the... Well, now, see, that is showing me the burn time, and that is not. Hmm. I'm intrigued by this. So let's let's use the info from this. Ooh, probably need to slow down here. <laughs> All right, wait, speed up a little bit more. And let's start our burn. Ooh, though we need to maneuver ourselves around. I do still have RCS fuel, so let's. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, that's. <laughs> That's a little wobbly to control with RCS. Oh god. <laughs> Let's slowly move ourselves into position. <laughs> I am both excited and a little worried. I don't want to destroy this thing and break it apart before I even have a chance to deorbit it. <laughs> there we go. Most and perfect ish. <laughs> whoop, whoop, too much overcompensating. Oh, yeah, overcompensating far too much. I'm going the other way now. <laughs> This is probably going to be a bad idea, but... SAS! <laughs> wow, that's a lot of RCS fuel just going all over the place. <laughs> We've got a lot, quite a lot of mono propellant, though, so I don't know how much we have to worry. But yeah, if the burn time is two minutes, I'm going to trust this. Or at least see. I'm going to start burning at one minute. Just to see what happens. I'm, I, I'm hoping that this node burn time is accurate, because that's one of my biggest complaints about this system. 
As if your engine's off, it doesn't give you a burn time. Alright, let's throttle this baby up. Whoa! 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 Okay! Okay! <laughs> that didn't work so well. <laughs> oh, it's spinning like a top now. That's... That's horrible. Okay. It did seem to be the proper burn time until, you know, everything went to hell. <laughs> so I, I'm pleased about that. Whoa, no, 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 SAS off, SAS or RCS off. Oh god, we're we're spinning uncontrollably now. Okay. Well, we're definitely not landing where I was hoping to now. <laughs> Even though it definitely is making the ship very wobbly, I think we may need to keep SAS on during the burn. Whoa! Okay. And we may need to keep burning low, which is going to slow this down tremendously. Okay, we're still holding together. And it's very, very slowly bringing down my orbit. <laughs> this was probably the worst actual time to try and attempt this maneuver. I should have gone at either my apoapsis or my periapsis. But I just wanted to try and do this in the sun, so eh. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's increase throttle a bit more. Let's see what happens. RCS is using a lot, but it's holding together the ship so far. And we are dropping our orbit nicely. Actually, let me get back my orbital info. Bam. Ooh, come on. Let's increase the speed a little bit more. Or throttle. Not the speed, throttle. What's my orbit looking like? It's coming down more. I'm liking it. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> this is by far probably the most efficient, inefficient deorbit I've ever seen. Hey, and we're spinning again. Oh god. <laughs> oh, this is fun. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, the ship is spinning. The SAS has gone out of control. Awesome. Okay, bring it back under the control there. Bring it back, bring it back. Alright, so taking it above about 30% is definitely not a good thing. <laughs> oh god, this thing is just... The SAS is just not working on a large station like this. Not, that, that really shouldn't be surprising to anyone. But, alright, let's try and bring it back manually. That SAS is basically being useless at the moment. Whoa. Whoa. This space station was not meant to be flown like this. At all. Oh god. Let's try and lock it in. <laughs> let's bring up a little throttle. Oh yeah, this is going to be the death of me. Though, that's kind of the point. <laughs> We're trying to bring this station down in a at least semi-spectacular manner. <laughs> right, let's bring up the throttle a little bit more. Whole thing's shaking. Alright. Now, we should start to get sucked into the atmosphere around there, I would think. Alright. We are starting to run low on fuel, but yeah, this should be fine. This should suck us right in. Have us crash. Somewhere over that ocean, or just along that continent there. <laughs> I'm just going to delete that node. It was kind of useless for me. <laughs> well, if my ship wouldn't have started spinning around like a ballerina, it probably would have been useful. 
All right, excellent. This thing is going to be deorbiting. Well, let's let it spin. <laughs> RCS off. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I like this. <laughs> I'm just going to let it keep spinning. I think it might be more interesting this way. <laughs> ah, no. Let's try and bring it under at least a little bit of control. I say that attempting to bring some control to it, but not getting any. Because it's just... Well... That was pointless. <laughs> Come on. Whoop. Yep, I'm using the wrong ones. It's... There we go. There we go. Whoop. There we are. Ish. This is... this is just awful. <laughs> yeah, definitely glad we pulled our crew out of here. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking we'd use less fuel than this, but that is a small engine, and this is a large and, well, quite delicate station now. <laughs> That was kind of cool, though, watching it spin that first time. I was like, oh, oh god, oh god. <laughs> though that actually is useful information to remember, because I was hoping to build some big ships into space. Into space? No, build some big ships in space for interplanetary travel down the road. And that is good information to remember, that if you don't have it right... It'll become very wobbly, and everyone will probably die. <laughs> so, hey! This fun and amusing deorbiting was actually educational. <laughs> hmm, that actually is a good thing to remember. I should probably write that down. If I actually would have fired these engines, it probably wouldn't have been as wobbly. But I'm still worried that it may have damaged this stuff before we ever got a chance to actually, you know, let the atmosphere destroy it. <laughs> yes, good times, good times. All right. Let's speed this up a little more. Go two times. Come on, atmosphere. Come on. Rip it apart. Alright. Alright, we're getting into the thicker atmosphere now. Here we go, we're getting the heat effects, let's watch this thing. <laughs> Come on, rip apart. Rip apart. <laughs> you, solar panel, go. I'm actually surprised it's surviving this far. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, 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 there go the solar panels. All right, let's see if any of this... Ah, no, the parachutes! <laughs> detach, detach! Cut the chute! Where's the other one? I don't want you helping. Here we go. I want this thing to fail spectacularly. <laughs> yeah, I need to re... That's another thing I need to remember. Once I undock, it does seem to move around my originally planned order of operations. Huh. I was really hoping more of this would break apart. I mean, come on, it was wobbling around in space just with the RCS thrusters. I was hoping the atmosphere might at least have ripped off that little capsule. <laughs> huh. Oh well. Still going to crash quite spectacularly. Let's speed up a bit. There we go. And... coming down quick. Whoa! Is this actually falling 
Surprisingly slow. I would have thought it'd be going faster than just a hundred meters per second. And... Whoa! Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Lift off. Poodle engine splashed down hard. It was destroyed. Everything was destroyed. Destroyed. <laughs> Excellent. I like it. So, yeah. Poor Jebediah. He's the only one up in space now. <laughs> Don't worry, I will be bringing him back down soon. But first, I want to start getting up a space station. I'm thinking at around the 200 kilometer mark. And then once I get two to three modules attached to that space station, I plan on sending a mission to the moon. And that, of course, will require Jebediah's expertise. So we will bring him back down to the surface to send him to the moon. Though that's still a few episodes away, most likely. Though who knows, I might just start building that space station quickly, just to get it up there, because I do want to see it and see how well that goes. But yes, I hope you have all enjoyed this slightly random episode. We really got nothing done, except for retrieve some crew members from space. But we brought down a space station, and that's just fun. So <laughs> yes, again, I hope you all enjoyed and that you come back for the next episode, and have a good one.